let's go over the different parts of an orca whale. The first part that we are going to look at is the fluke, which is located at the back of the whale. The fluke has two purposes. It moves up and down to help the orca whale swim, and it's also used to identify individual whales because it is unique to each whale. Next, we're going to move to the front of the whale to locate its eyes. The eyes are located right next to the white eye patch. This tiny black dot is its eye, and obviously it's used to see in and out of the water. Next, we have its teeth, which are located inside of its mouth. The teeth are used for ripping and tearing, but not for chewing. Next, we are going to look at something called the rostrum. The rostrum is just the snout of the whale. One identifying feature of an orca whale is its blowhole. All dolphins also have blowholes. The blowhole is a muscular flap. When it's open, the whale uses it to breathe in air, and when it's closed, it's completely airtight. Therefore, when it's underwater and it's completely closed, no water gets into their lungs. Next is the penduncle. The penduncle is the muscular area between the dorsal fin and the flukes that move the flukes up and down. Next, we have the dorsal fin. The dorsal fin acts like a keel on a boat. Each is unique for every whale. And lastly, we have the pectoral flippers. These are used for steering and works with the fluke for stopping. 